Hey everybody, it is late at night and I am Norman. So I recently decided to make up a bunch of phony watch brand names and then search the internet for them and see what comes up. So tonight we're going to go over my list of those phony names and the interesting search results that came up when I tried to find them. So let us begin. Alright, so the first brand that I made up is Spracken Watches. I didn't find any direct matches to this brand name, but this is what I did find. I found a brand called Draken. Draken sells military style and Thule watches. They sell a great looking field watch called the Arakai. These are large for field watches at 39mm. They have 100 meters of water resistance and they sell for $399. They also sell a colorful dive style GMT called the Tugela. Tugela? Tugela GMT? This watch has a somewhat Tiffany blue bezel and dial. They're 42 millimeters in size and have 300 meters of water resistance and they retail for $999. I really like the look of that field watch and it's perfect for people with larger wrists or find a 36 millimeter, sort of a more standard field size, a little bit too small. I actually kind of like the crown in between the four and five o'clock. It looks kind of cool how they pulled that off. And that GMT is so colorful. That blue looks like the bottom of a pool. Definitely a great summertime watch, and the triangle markers on there are pretty unique looking. Pretty cool. I also encountered a company called Blaken. This is a company that specializes in ruining or customizing people's luxury watches. Here are a few examples of their work. I mean, the colorful Explorer isn't too bad. It's a little bit subtle, and I feel like the colors that they chose go really well on that black dial, but yeah. And I can't believe someone out there would actually do that to a Submariner. I also encountered Barons. I'm pretty sure I've heard of this brand before. I don't think I've ever really looked into them though. This brand produces extremely complicated, yet not, should I buy a house or a watch, expensive watches. They're definitely luxury prices, but not, I flew into town to visit my AD in my own private jet prices. These pieces are generally over 40 millimeters. These watches are definitely too busy and complicated for me personally. They do make one of the Joker style watches in the Earth and Sun, or is that Earth and Mars, or the Earth and the Moon? That watch actually looks kind of crazy. Not really something that I would want to wear though. But another interesting find. I ran into this interesting brand, Shark Sport. This brand produces overly busy, somewhat wish looking chronograph watches. I mean, the date window area of the killer whale watch looks pretty good in their animations, but just kind of uninspired and way too busy. These watches are huge at 46 millimeters. The octopus is 48 millimeters and they only have 30 meters of water resistance. How are you going to go with an ocean theme for your watch brand and give your watches dress watch water resistance? Yeah, pretty much all of these watches would be a hard no for me, just from looking at the pictures. If I wanted something even remotely along these lines, I would just get a G-Shock or something. The next phony brand that I made up was Crumberman Watches. I didn't find any direct matches for this phony brand, but here's what I did find. I found Stour. Very interesting brand name. Stour. Star? Stour? Stower. Stower. I give up. Stour makes some pretty unique, affordable, and somewhat reasonably sized watches. The 1930 Dash Tronic watch is only 39 millimeters and they retail for around $200. I mean that 1920s retrograde watch looks pretty cool. At least judging by the pictures. 
I also found Luxor Man. Luxor Man makes watches that are nightmare fuel or wish fantasies. In looking at their site, I see them go from $200 to $2,000. They are totally blinged out and painful, and I don't trust the titles of the listings for these watches. A fully diamond encrusted watch for $1,400? Yeah, are those really diamonds though? And if so, what did the watch itself cost to produce? $5? Yeah, these watches are truly painful. They may have to make a showing in one of my ugly watch videos. Hmm. The next brand that I made up is Itchy Wrist Watches. I didn't find any exact matches for these either. However, I did find a whole bunch of Etsy listings. And you've got to stick around to the last Etsy listing because those are actually brilliant. So I found this crazy watch. It's kind of a googly-eyed watch. Very interesting design. The bracelet on it's actually kind of cool in a super weird, unique way. And looking at the watch head-on, those two little dials are kind of cool. But it's so weird that they're on big, long stocks like that. There's this amazing Top Ramen watch. I mean, that is great. And one of many snarky watches you could find on Etsy, like the The Time Is Now watch, I think they called it. And the dial is fitting. I personally love the I'm Always Late watch. That is great. And if I was wearing it, it would be true. And my absolute favorite that I found, the Rubber Duckies watch. Look at that watch. I'm pretty sure it doesn't tell time at all, but that is absolutely brilliant design work. I may need to get one of these just to have it, just to wear it during the summer to the pool. The next brand I made up is Belobe Watches. It also did not get any direct matches, but here's what I did find. I found Trilobe. Trilobe makes some extremely high-end looking watches, however, they don't sell for $50,000. The Folle Journée watch goes for about $25,000. Definitely high-end, but not stupid high-end. The Nuit Fantastique Secret watch goes for about $14,000. The Matineau goes for about $10,000. I can't believe that I'm thinking $10,000 and $25,000 is reasonable. But compared to other watches that look kind of similar to these, it actually is. The next phony brand that I came up with is Happy Lemon Watches. Again, no direct matches, but here's what I found. I found Happy Watches. Okay, Happy Watches make some pretty whimsical pieces. They aren't my personal style, but I love the brand's name and the fun, super happy designs they put out there. They sell for about $200 and they're available in 36 and 41 millimeters. Being square watches, I feel like they would wear pretty large, so the 36 millimeter is probably more of a unisex watch than a ladies watch. Yeah, the name is so fitting. These watches are super happy, and I think it's really cool that there's a brand putting such happy watches out there. They're so fun looking. I found the Scrambled Time Watch. That's pretty cool. And there's this Tommy Bahama watch. Very summertime. The last phony brand that I came up with is Over the Cuff Watch Company. I did find a watch shop called Over the Cuff, but they just sell the usual luxury watches, Richard Meal, Royal Oaks. Not terribly exciting. However, I also found Caliber 321. I found this review of a brilliant looking dive watch. It has a 38 millimeter case size, 200 meters of water resistance, and a Seiko NH35 movement inside it for $450. Not bad for a dive watch with these specs and amazing aesthetics. I love the markers on this watch. The pictures of it look so amazing. How have I never encountered this watch before? Those are just so cool looking. I also found a Forbes article. Forbes featured an article of Gianni Agnelli, who actually wore his watches over the cuff, literally. He would don a button-up shirt and strap his watch on his wrist outside of the shirt sleeve. 
That's actually a pretty interesting article. I'm going to have to go back and read all of it. I'll be sure to leave a link to it in the description below. But those are all the phony watch brands that I came up with and the crazy things that I found when I tried to search for them. Thanks for watching. Thank you.